Welcome to EPG Patshala. I'm Dr. Kamal Kumar Gupta, Associate Professor in Zoology at Tesh Bandhu College, University of Delhi. This is a module on transgenic animals method of production. This is a module of paper molecular genetics. Learning objectives of these modules are, after studying this module, you will learn and understand various methods of production of transgenic animals. You will understand that transgenesis can be used to knock out and knock down gene activity. Expression of a transgene in an animal can be regulated in a cell-specific and conditional manner. Let's start with the introduction. A transgenic animal is one whose genome has been altered in a way that it carries genes from exogenous source. For example, a transgenic animal carries an extra functional gene from other organism artificially introduced into it. The exogenous gene present in the genome of transgenic animal is known as transgene and the process of introducing transgene into an animal's genome is known as transgenesis. These transgenes are functionally expressed and stably inherited in the transgenic animal. The, the foreign gene may also be introduced to knock out the functioning of a normal gene present in the genome of an organism. Understanding in development, developmental biology and reproductive biology and advancement in molecular techniques is in last few decades could develop technologies by which a variety of transgenic animals are produced. These transgenic animals include Drosophila, fishes, chickens, mouse, livestock such as goat, sheep, pig, cattle and monkey. Transgenic animals provide modal system for gene regulation, tumor development, immunological specificity, molecular genetics of development of animal, molecular basis of human disease. Transgenesis is widely used to improve genetic features of domesticated animals and production of pharmaceuticals. In 1974, Rudolf Janisch created first transgenic mouse by introducing foreign gene into its embryo. However, transgenic mice that inherit the transgene to the progeny were developed after eight years in 1982. Genetically modified mice that carried cloned oncogenes were created in 1984. Mice were also the first animal to synthesize transgenic proteins in their milk. In 1987, the first transgenic mice were created to produce human tissue plasminogen activator. First knockout mice was created in 1989. The first transgenic livestock was produced in 1985. Let's see the process of production of transgenic animal. This process involves construction and cloning of transgenes, obtaining oocytes, fertilized ova or embryo, integrated transgenes in the oocyte, zygote or embryo, culturing and transferring zygote or embryo to the surrogate mother, creation and production of homozygous transgenic lines. Now, we will explore different methods for production of transgenic mice. The transgenic mouse can be produced by retroviral method, microinjection method, or embryonic stem cell method. First of all, we'll learn about retroviral vector method of transgenesis. As we know that retroviruses have RNA genome. In the host system, they use the single strand RNA as template and with the help of reverse transcriptase, 
synthesize a DNA copy. This DNA is then inserted and integrated into the host cell genome. Therefore, retrovirus vector have advantage as they can integrate the transgene in the recipient's genome. To produce transgenic mice, eight cell stage embryo are infected with a defective retrovirus based vector carrying a transgene. The embryos are subsequently implanted in the pseudo pregnant foster mothers. The presence of transgene in the progeny is confirmed by PCR and by phenotype analysis. Founder progeny is mated to determine presence of the transgene in their germline cells. Homozygous transgene lines can be established from F1 transgenic animals. Now, vector derived from the retrovirus have limitations as they can transfer only small size transgenes, DNA size about 8 kilo base. The genome of the helper virus often integrates into the host genome along with the transgene. These helpers retrovirus could be produced by transgenic organism. Consequently, it contaminates the product synthesized by the transgenic organism. This has serious limitations if the transgenic organism is to be used as food. In addition, transgene introduced by some retroviral vectors are silenced in the mouse embryos. Vector derived from lentivirus have been used successfully to introduce a variety of transgenes into embryonic cell of mice, pigs, cattle, and birds. Lentivirus are often used as delivery vehicle to introduce transgene to decrease gene expression by RNA interference, that is RNAi. These vectors are capable of delivering large segment of DNA into the host genome and can infect both dividing as well as non-dividing cells. Therefore, they can transfer the transgene in the neuronal, muscle, liver and other non-dividing cells. Also, the transgenes carried by lentivirus are not silenced in embryo. Another method for producing transgenic animal is microinjection method. Let's see what is a microinjection method. In this method, transgenes are cloned and then introduced directly in the fertilized egg by microinjection. This method includes first step is obtaining fertilized ova from the super ovulated female. In the normal circumstances, a normal female mouse produces 5 to 10 eggs. In order to obtain more number of fertilized eggs, the donor females are first stimulated to super ovulate. For this, the donor females are initially injected with pregnant mares albumin. After about 48 hours, the females are injected with human chorionic gonadotropin. A super ovulated mouse may produce up to 35 eggs. These females are mated for the fertilization of the eggs. The females are subsequently sacrificed and the fertilized ovas are collected from their oviducts. Subsequently, the transgenes are microinjected. In mammals, after entry of the sperm into the ova, the sperm and egg nucleus can be seen separately as male pronucleus and the female nucleus. Subsequently, the female nucleus undergoes meiosis too, which leads to formation of secondary polar body and a female pronucleus. At this stage, nuclear fusion of male and female pronucleus, that is karyogamy, takes place. For the production of transgenic animal or mice, by the microinjection method, the fertilized eggs are collected 
and micro inject it with the trans gene. The trans gene construct for micro injection is often a linear DNA without any prokaryotic vector DNA sequence. For micro injection, the fertilized egg is placed on the micro manipulator in a proper orientation. The male pronucleus in the egg is located with the help of dissecting microscope. It tends to be larger than the female pronucleus. The transgenes are placed in the male pronucleus with the help of fine tipped glass needle. Usually several hundred to several thousand copies of the transgenes are injected into each egg. Multiple copies of the transgenes integrated in head to tail array at random single chromosomal site. After inoculating 25 to 40 eggs are implanted microsurgically into a foster mother. Before implantation, the foster mother is mated with vasectomized male. This makes the female pseudo pregnant. In mice, copulation is the only known way to prepare the uterus for implantation. The foster mother delivers pup about three weeks after implantation. This transgenic mouse so obtained are called G0 generation and they constitute founder animals. For identification and confirmation of the presence of transgene in the founder progeny, DNA from a small piece of tail is assayed either by southern bloat hybridization or by polymerase chain reaction that is PCR. The integration of transgenes usually takes place during early embryonic development. Therefore, some of the germ cells of G0 generation may contain the transgenes. Moreover, the G0 progeny is mosaic with respect to transgene as some of the somatic cell possesses transgenes while other not. The transgenic mice of G0 generation are mated with each other to obtain G1 progeny and determine the presence of transgenes in the germ line. The G1 progeny show presence of transgene in all the cell. The G1 progeny are crossed with each other to obtain pure that is homozygous transgenic lines. Micro injection method of producing transgenic animals has some limitations as the procedure of producing transgenic animals by micro injection method requires coordination of number of procedures which cause decrease in the success at each step. A maximum of 5% eggs inoculated with the transgene develop into live transgenic animals. Furthermore, with this method, the injected transgene integrate at random site within the genome. Often, multiple copies of the injected DNA are incorporated at one site. The transgenes may integrate with the genetically inactive regions such as heterochromatin. This cause failure of the expression of gene in the transgenic progeny. In some cases, on the contrary, there is overexpression of the gene due to excessive copy number. Consequently, the normal physiology of the animal is disturbed and disrupted. Integration of the transgene within a functional gene may inactivate the gene which cause deformity or death of the embryo. Transgenic mice is, can also be produced by embryonic stem cell method. We all know that cells from early blastocyst stage of a developing embryo can be isolated 
and grown in a cell culture medium. These cells when reintroduced in another blastocyst retain their capability to differentiate into all other cell types including germ cells. These cells are called pluripotent embryonic stem cells. The transgenes can be introduced in the embryonic stem cells and transgenic animal can be produced. For the production of transgenic animals by embryonic stem cells, the oocytes are collected from the super ovulated mice. For example, we can take dark colored mice. These oocytes are fertilized in vitro. The fertilized ova are allowed to develop up to blastocyst stage. The inner cell mass of the blastocyst are separated and grown in the culture media. The embryonic stem cell, we also called as ES cells, in the culture are transfected with transgenes carried on a DNA vector. The vector can be designed to integrate the transgene within a specific chromosome location. The integration sites are decided so that integration does not interfere with the genes associated with development and vital functions. Moreover, it is ensured that transgenes are integrated in the euchromatic areas of the genome for their stable expression. Embryonic stem cells carrying an integrated transgenes are selected, cultured and reinserted into other blastocyst stage embryo. For example, we can use white mouse. These embryos are then implanted into pseudo pregnant foster mothers. Some of the introduced ES cells or embryonic stem cells may contribute to the formation of adult tissue. So, G0 progeny may consist of two type of cells, its own cells and those derived from the cultured and transfected embryonic stem cells. Such G0 progeny is called chimeras. The transfected embryonic stem cells may also contribute to the chimeras germ cells. Breeding of these individuals can inherit the transgenes to the G1 generation. This established transgenic lines subsequently progeny homozygous for the transgenes are produced from G1 embryonic stem cell method of transgenesis has been used to insert a specific human disease gene into a modal organism in order to study the molecular basis of disease. By this method, the functional genes can be inactivated, for example, what we call as gene knockout. Now, we will discuss site-specific integration of transgene and positive-negative selection. Site-specific integration of gene is mediated by gene targeting factors. These vectors can undergo homologous recombination with the chromosomal gene. Two blocks of DNA sequence that is HB1 and HB2 that are homologous to two separate regions of target sites for the in integration. The transgene which confer a new function or phenotype to the recipient. A DNA sequence that code for resistance to the compound G418 that is neomycin resistance. Two different genes for thymidine kinase that is TK1 and TK2 from herpes simplex virus type 1 and type 2. This we called as HSV TK1 and HSV TK2. The arrangement of these components is in such a way that transgene and 
G418 resistance that is neomycin resistance gene lies between the two blocks of DNA that are homologous to the target sites adjacent to the transgene. HSV TK1 and HSV TK2 genes are present outside of each homologous block. When the embryonic stem cells are transfected with these vectors, these three different events are possible. For example, first no integration, the gene targeting vector and the chromosome. Second, homologous recombination by double crossover between the gene targeting vector and the target site. And this leads to integration of transgene at specific site in the genome. This results in integration of only transgene and neomycin resistance and HSV TK genes are not integrated. Third is non-specific integration the gene targeting vector may integrate at non-specific site into the host chromosome. When this occur, both the neomycin resistance gene and the TK HSV genes are integrated in the genome. Now let us see what happens. The cells with DNA integrated at target sites are selected by a procedure called positive negative selection. This strategy use positive selection for the cell that have vector DNA integrated anywhere in the genome and negative selection against the vector DNA sequence that is integrated at known target sites. The cells are grown in the medium containing G418 and Jency clover. In the presence of G418, in the medium, only cell with neomycin resistance gene will survive and other cell will die. Therefore, the cell without integration of transgene do not survive and only the cell with integrated transgene survives. In the presence of Jency clover, the cell that express thymidine kinase converts Jency clover to toxic compounds which kill the cells. Hence, the cells with non-specific integration are killed in the presence of Jency clover and V and are negatively selected. Only the cells having DNA integrated at target site survive by this dual selection. Transgenesis can be used for the gene silencing. There are two methods for gene silencing and preventing the gene expression of the functional gene present in the genome of an animal cells. One of the method is called gene knockout. This is achieved by insertional mutagenesis. This method involves disruption of the clone gene by inserting some foreign DNA sequences. Subsequently, the disrupted gene is used to replace the normal gene present in the embryonic stem cell by homologous recombination. The embryonic stem cell containing disrupted genes are selected by positive negative selection method. These embryonic stem cells are used for transgenesis. This process of disruption of the function of normal gene is called gene knockout. The purpose of gene knockout is to determine the developmental and physiological consequences of inactivating a gene. Hundreds of different type of knockout mice have been created as animal model for the study of various human abnormalities. Knockout mice have been used to study a wide range of processes in mammals including development, physiology, neurobiology and immunology. Knockout mice have provided model system for study of numerous inherited 
human disorders such as sickle cell anemia, heart disease and many different type of cancers. Expression of a target gene can be decreased by preventing translation of mRNA using RNA interference technique also called as RNAi. This method employs the mechanism which occur naturally in animal and plant cells for regulation of gene expression by endogenous RNA molecules. In RNAi method, double-stranded RNA is recognized by a ribonuclease dicer that cleave the RNA into smaller double-stranded small interfering RNA called siRNA. siRNA are recognized by RISC risk that is RNA induced silencing complex which separates the strands of siRNA. The single stranded RNA along with risk bind to homologous sequence on the mRNA molecules. The nuclease component of RISC then degrade the mRNA. This prevents the translation of the targeted mRNA. Short endogenous RNA also called as microRNA transcribed from regions of the genome of animals and plants are also recognized by DICER and RISC and block translation of target mRNA. To create transgenic mice with reduced expression of a target gene, a small sequence of the target gene is cloned into a vector as an inverted repeat separated by a short spacer region. The RNA transcript produced from this sequence forms a short that is 19 to 21 base pair hairpin RNA called short RNA, shRNA. Hairpin is formed due to intramolecular base pairing. In the animal, the shRNA is expressed and processed by DICER and RISC proteins into siRNA, which reduces the expression of a target gene. Transgene expression can be regulated in transgenic animal such as a transgene may be designed to express in a specific cell or tissue. For this, the coding sequences of the transgenes are placed under the control of the cell-specific promoter. This method has been used to express human protein genes in the milk of cattle. To express the human gene in the milk of cattle, the promoter from milk specific gene such as beta lactoglobulin gene of cattle is linked to the coding sequence of the desired human gene. In addition, a short signal sequence necessary for the secretion of protein into the milk is also added. In this way, the human proteins coded by the transgenes are specifically secreted in the milk. Transgene expression can be regulated in a specific set of conditions. This can be achieved by tetracycline inducible system. Tetracycline inducible system is based on the two transcriptional unit in the same cell. Product of one of the unit in the presence or absence of doxycycline determine the expression of a gene of the other unit. Both the transcription unit of a tetracycline regulatory system can be incorporated into a single plasmid. Doxycycline, a non-toxic analog of tetracycline is provided to the mice in the drinking water. Transcription of transgene takes place in the absence of doxycycline 
in the tat-off system and in the presence of doxycycline in the tat-on system. In tat-off system, the transgene is continuously expressed in a specific cell type. The addition of doxycycline turns off the expression of a transgene. TAT-OFF system is consists of one that is gene TTA under the control of promoter for the cell specific expression and other component transgene with TTA responsive promoter that is PTAT. Product of TTA is a chimeric protein that is tetracycline trans activator. It is composed of tetracycline repressor and an amino acid sequence that activates the transcription process. In the presence of doxycycline, the TTA protein binds to the PTAT region and activate the transcription of the transgene. When doxycycline is present, it binds to the TTA protein. The doxycycline TTA complex cannot bind to the PTAT. Hence, transcription of the transgene does not occur. On the other hand, in the TAT-on system, transcription of the transgene takes place in the presence of doxycycline only. In the system, the nucleotide sequence for the tetracycline repressor carries mutation that prevents the combined repressor protein and trans activator from binding to the PTAT promoter sequences. This tetracycline repressor trans activator protein is designated as RTTA that is reverse tetracycline controlled trans activator. In the absence of doxycycline, RTTA cannot bind PTAT promoter sequences. Therefore, the transgene fail to transcribe. In the presence of doxycycline, RTTA protein bind to it and changes the conformation of RTTA which allows the complex to attach to the PTAT promoter sequences and initiate transcription of the transgene. Transgenic livestock can also be produced by nuclear transfer method. We know that Dolly was the first clone formed by nuclear transfer method. Nucleus from an other cell of an adult sheep was transferred into a enucleated egg cell by electric pulse. Subsequently, researchers could isolate, cultured and genetically modified various type of somatic cells such as mammary, epithelial and ovarian cells, fibroblasts and lymphocytes by introducing transgenes. These cells containing transgenes are fused to an enucleated oocyte with short duration electric pulse. The pulse induce cell fusion and oocyte activation. Each fused cell is cultured up to blastocyst stage of the embryonic development. The blastocyst is then transferred into the uterus of pseudo pregnant female for implantation and subsequently development and for subsequent development. At birth, genotype analysis is used to confirm presence of transgene. Production of transgenic cattle by nuclear transfer method has selective advantage over pro-nuclear DNA microinjection. With nuclear transfer, transgenes can be integrated at specific site. Also, all the progeny produced by nuclear transfer method are transgenic. Polly and her sisters, that is Molly, Holly and Oli were the sheep created by fusing a fibroblast from a fetus to an enucleated egg cell. The fibroblast cells were genetically modified, carrying a human gene of human factor 9 before 
transferring to the enucleated egg. We can also produce transgenic fish. Transgenic fish can be produced by microinjection or electroporation of the transgenes into the fertilized agar or four cell stage embryo of the fishes. The embryo carrying transgenes are developed in temperature regulated holding tanks. The presence of transgenes in the founder fish is confirmed by PCR analysis of either nucleated erythrocytes or scale DNA. Founder fishes are mated to establish true breeding transgenic lines. Enhanced growth rates, tolerance of environment stress and resistance to disease are some of the desired features of the transgenic fishes. Production of transgenic birds by microinjection method is difficult and inefficient because of unique features of avian reproduction. The bird shows physiological polyspermy that is several sperms penetrate single ovum. Therefore, the fertilized ova contain multiple male pronuclei. Any of the male pronuclei can fuse with the female pronucleus. Also, after fertilization, the ovum is surrounded by large quantities of albumin and enclosed in the shell membrane. However, the transgenes are injected into the region of germinal disc that contains the female and male pronuclei. After the administration of DNA to a germinal disc, each egg is cultured in vitro for the development of embryo. The embryo is subsequently placed in a surrogate egg to produce a hatchling. Another method for the production of transgenic chickens is by engineering the pluripotent cells that is blastodum cells or primordial germ cells and stage X cells can be used for this purpose. Blastodum stage of the developing embryo consists of 30,000 to 60,000 pluripotent cells. The cells are removed from donor chick, transfected with a transgene construct and implanted into the subgerminal space of recipient embryo. The progeny so obtained contains two types of cells, its own and those derived from genetically engineered cultured cells. Such progeny chicks are called chimeras. In some of the chicken chimeras, the genetically engineered culture cells form germ cells. Transgenic lines can be established from these chimeras by round of matings. Transgenesis in fowl have potentials to produce disease resistance varieties, chicken with increased and improved nutrition qualities. Human protein can also be produced and secreted in the egg albumin. Let us summarize the module. Transgenic animal carries extra functional gene from another source in their genome. Process of introducing foreign or exogenous DNA into an animal's genome is known as transgenesis and the gene or DNA which is introduced is called transgene. Transgenic animal stably express and inherit the transgenes to the progeny. The major step in creation of transgenic animal includes construction and cloning of transgene, inserting and integrating the transgene in the fertilized ova or early stage embryo, implanting the embryo in the foster mother, creation of 
homozygous transgenic lines. Transgenes can be transferred by retrovirus method, microinjection method or embryonic stem cell method to the mice. Transgene can be designed for cell or tissue specific expression and conditional expression. Transgene can be used for gene knockout and gene knockdown. Here we end with the module. Thank you.